Hey, what's up guys? So we are here at SEMA today with Jeremy, who is the head of marketing here at Blackview. And uh, he's gonna be telling us about a new top of the line Blackview camera that's actually gonna be coming out early next year. Yeah. yeah. So first Ariel, uh, I'm really happy you're here. It yeah. Is the second year in a row? Two in a row, I know, yeah. back for round that's, two. That's, uh, yeah, pretty exciting. I, I'm really excited today to, to show you the, the new uh, DR900S series. Okay, so uh, DR900S, and you got a one channel and a two channel. Yeah, yeah. so you, you're gonna have both, yeah. One, and a, one channel, two channel, mm -hmm. and you know, as you may have noticed here, we, we got 4K. 4K, so this is so, the big news, it's now so a 4K that, that, dash that's cam. the big thing this year for us, uh, and pretty much for dash cams in general, yeah, uh -huh. because um, we, we're gonna release a dash cam which gonna give you four times the number of pixels of the regular full HD compared to but 1080p. the same recording time thanks to our new uh, compression codec. Okay, so 4K, it's yeah, four times the resolution, but you could yeah. just blast through memory card space. So you've got a new compression scheme exactly. to keep the video files right. smaller. So what's the new compression algorithm that's using? So it's the, the HEVC codec, also known as uh, H.265. Okay. Uh, so HEVC stands for uh, High uh, Efficiency Video Codec. It's a codec that was developed uh, specifically for the, the 4K video uh, market. Okay. Uh, and it's also used, uh, for example, uh, by you know companies that do um, uh, on-demand videos of uh, 4K videos. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much the future, and uh, but we, we might have come with it a little bit earlier. But uh -huh. you know, we have to take into consideration that not everybody has the hardware to actually play the yeah. the, the, the H.265 videos. So because of that, we we're still going to give the option to choose H.264, which is the, the okay. common regular codec. Yeah. So it's interesting, so you've got 4K video, which yeah, is really high resolution, mm -hmm. and I think one of the biggest advantages of that is gonna be, well, more detail, so it's gonna do a better job of recording license plates. Yeah, so w when we talk about 4K, you know, people are uh, first gonna think, okay, but I don't have a 4K monitor, for example. Yeah. Right? You know? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, but so, so maybe I, I don't need that, but uh, when you think about it, you know, Dashcam is all about recording that license plate you know, that, right, you, you know, need the details. Uh, either on the side of the picture, or, the face or, uh, or a little bit farther. Uh, and, um, and with 4K, even if you have just a regular full HD monitor, you're gonna be able to zoom into the picture in, in our you know, viewer. Yeah. You, you'll be able to easily capture you know, whatever you want. Uh, no matter if you have a 4K monitor or not, you know. Yeah, and like that's, I know you've got it on display here with these demo mm -hmm. videos, yeah. and one of the things I'm noticing is with the, you know, older cameras, maybe 1080p or even sometimes 1440p, mm -hmm. like if you get more than maybe a car length away, yeah. it's really tough to make out the license plate, but in these videos, like the cars can get decently yeah. far away and you're even zooming in. Yeah, here, what, what you see pretty much, you, you can zoom in and see this small sign there or here, you know, it's, it's gonna be even like farther away. Uh, you're yeah. going to be able to get something uh, pretty sharp uh, without pixelation, you know, you, you just keep zooming. And yeah, and something else that you told me was like, the way that you're doing this, I figured you'd have to have these massive file sizes, but right. this is only at 10 megabit, yeah, so which is crazy. This is actually early test sample, so it's not been optimized at all or anything, but uh, we, here we are just uh, running a, a 10 megabit per second video, which is uh, pretty much even lower than our current flagship. Right, it's actually a lower bit rate, so you would think less detail, but so, higher resolution. So, but with the, the new, uh, you know, the new uh, H.265 in, encoding, uh, uh, you know, system, you, you get these uh, details. Uh, no, no matter, you know, no, no matter the, the size of the file, you, you're gonna get like a, a, about, with 10 megabit, 12 megabit, uh, you, you get, Definitely enough uh, bitrate to uh, encode a full 4K video. Yeah. And that's really impressive because it means you're going to have a lot of detail that's being recorded, but mm -hmm. the file sizes are still going to be pretty small without yeah. having to go to crazy high bit rates it, it, to get it, that detail. Exactly. So pretty much you're going to get the exact same recording time uh, with 4K as you would with a regular full HD dash cam. Yeah. So uh, the, the file size is going to be exactly the same, you know, same bitrate, same 
uh, overall file size. So yeah. yeah. So I see you've got it actually set up here, and I see uh, so we've got 4K for the front camera and 1080p for the rear, which yes. makes sense. I think 4K in the rear might be a little yeah. overkill, and yeah, the card might light on fire. You know, still, um, if your um, your objective is to get the the, the longest recording time, you, right. you can still choose, you know, for example, 1080p, 60 frame. Okay. And, and like the just, DR750. You're yes. gonna have roughly half the the bit rate. Um, uh, as of the current, uh, you know, full full HD uh, dash cam that we have. Yeah. So that's gonna give you roughly double the, the recording time. So yeah, I know the DR750S records at 1080p max, and now you've right. got 4K, right. which is amazing. And I noticed actually over there, you've got one of my test videos that I sent with comparing the 650 and the 750, <laughs> which is kind of a trip to see one of my videos on display here. <laughs> but that's cool. So. I, so the 750 is already available. This is going to be the new camera, the DR900S. Right. So as far it, as it, it's not going to replace it. It's not. Okay, right. that makes sense. Uh, right now, you know, definitely is going to be on a different uh, price point. We, we we haven't, you know, really. Uh, we, we cannot reveal the price yet because we, we need sure. to think about it a bit more. Uh, we, we will, you know. When it's when it's out, it will be out, and you, know, right. you will know. So we um, don't know for price yet. Do we know rough availability or? Uh, early 2018. Early so, 2000. That's yeah. pretty soon then. Yeah. Because we're kind of the end of 2017. You, you, so. you can think, possibly in January. Uh, yeah. Wow. So yeah. Cool. I, I guess. I guess you will have uh, the chance to test it. I would love it. Yeah, my computer can't even record 4K, which is why I shoot all this stuff at 1080p. So, but being able to zoom in like this would be awesome. Yeah. So I would love more detail. Yeah, like, th that's and this what great. people need. Yeah, that's yeah. what people want. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. So I'm really looking forward to this one coming out. So thanks so much for telling me about it and sharing about it on camera. And yeah. I think this is going to be a really cool camera. Yeah. So this my, is my the, pleasure having you. <laughs> yeah. So the Blackview DR900S. Is there information on your website yet, or? Uh, Where can people no, find out no, more? No, not yet. This is like kind of the, the, the first time we show it in the U.S. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. you, 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 you should maybe check on Instagram if you want to see Instagram. some more. Okay. But, uh, yeah, for the moment, this is pretty much the first time you, you will hear about it. Cool. Yeah. Well, hey, speaking of which, <laughs> first time you guys get to see it too. Yeah. And I'll put a link to Blackie's Instagram for more information about this as well. So, yeah. awesome. Well, hey, Jeremy, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.